I'm getting ready to do my um, Hasbro blaster conversion. And I had originally bought a Doopy Doo kit. And, well, most of a Doopy Doo kit. But I didn't like the uh, some of the parts. So just going online, I found uh, a ton of parts for E11 blasters. And they were a bit more accurate. And so I just decided to go ahead and resin print them. And plus, Doopy Doo isn't making these kits anymore. And since I didn't have a complete kit... And I just wanted to do a little comparison and just kind of show. Not that all the parts are majorly better, but, you know, there's a little bit better quality with some of the resin prints. And plus, you know, I can reproduce that whenever I want. So there's the Hanksler. And the mag holder. Don't have the magazine clip, the original one from Doopy Doo, but that's the one I printed that will slide in. And plus, down, of course, you can replace that and swap it out. And then the other thing, well, let's see, wait, do the. So I'm going to actually put screws in. Doopy Doo's has screws kind of molded in but I'll drill some holes in the um, front of the gun put the screws in also just made some of the t-tracks and then a combination resin print 3d print the front of the stock the actual grip is resin. This is 3D printed. And just a note on the um, blaster. So I have two of these. This is how it starts. But what I'm going to end up doing is, so I cut off the fins, just sanded that down. I'm going to have lights in here, so this is not going to be movie accurate at all. But I want lights, and I want them to show through, so I'm not going to have the T-Track on the side. I'm gonna have T-Track here. That one I actually like. T-Track there, T-Track there, T-Track there. And then as far as mods, so sanded or cut all that off. I also cut off the rail. And then I printed a piece so that that can sit there. Now again, this isn't gonna be completely movie accurate, but it's gonna be close enough. And all the electronics, there's tons of room in here. I love this. There's tons of room in there for electronics. So most of my uh, stuff is just going to slide nice, nicely in there. I'm going to leave this board, mount a switch onto it, use this existing speakers, use the existing switch, run the LEDs through here. Um, I already cut this out so the 9-volt battery fits in there so I can use a simple blaster OS. And this will be my first build. So I'll post some more information up once I get it built. 